Hello, this is Jason Combs with American Built Arms Company and today we're going to be talking about the AB Arms T-Grip. So you got your uh, Tabor grip in the mail and you're thinking to yourself, uh, what now? So we're, today we're going to talk about uh, how to install this on your rifle and uh, what some of the features are. So uh, I've got my T-Grip and I've got my Tabor rifle. First thing you're going to do before you get started doing anything with firearm is you're always going to check and make sure it is uh, clear and it's on safe. So uh, we're on safe right now. And we are clear. So let's uh, let's take the Tabor grip out of the package, the T grip. In that we uh, include a sticker too. So feel free to throw that on your toolbox. Um, one of the things you're going to need for this is you're going to need a 3 30 seconds Allen head uh, wrench. So uh, we're going to take this off of here. We're just unscrew these screws. Drop these out. And we're going to take the two sides apart. Now be careful that the nuts are going to fall out. So just put those off to the side. So you have your a catini rail that goes on the bottom of your tabor. Um, we're assuming at this point you've already bought your rail and you've already installed it. Um, if we find out that folks need some help installing the rail too, um, we'll do a follow-up video to that. So you're going to take the one side and you're going to put it onto your rail just like so. You're going to line it up to the area that you want to put the screws through. So it's a matter of uh, where you want to line it up as to where you're going to set it. So I like mine all the way forward because I like the lip to match the front lip of the grip itself. So then what we're going to do is, is we're going to take one of, our, one of our bolts here and we're going to put it through. And this just helps you get it, get it started. So we're just going to put that right through just like so. And we're going to take one of our nuts here and we're going to put it right on the other side. And we're going to get that started just like this. Okay, just snug it up just a little bit. Then you're going to take your other nut, or your other screw, I should say. And you're going to put it through the rail. You're going to take your other nut, and you're going to line it up on the other side. Just put your finger here just to help hold it. And then you're going to screw this side in. Now, you want to kind of line it up. I like to push mine all the way forward with my finger and then just tighten it up. Tighten the back one up. See I have even pressure. Give it a nice tighten. Give it a nice tighten. And now you are ready to go. So one of the neat features about our grip is that you can actually stow uh, two AA batteries or one CR123 in the bottom of the grip. So all you need to do is, is just use your thumb pull the bottom off. We've included a, a waterproof uh, piece of styrofoam. It's just like a half moon shape, just like this. So then once, you, once you've taken your styrofoam out, you just set that off to the side. Turn your, uh, turn your rifle upside down. And if you're um, a person that uses double A's more than anything else, you just pick your two double A batteries and you just put them right in the bottom just like so. You're going to take your half moon shape piece of styrofoam here and you're going to sit it right on top and just squeeze it right in there just so it's got a little bit of pressure down on it. That'll help with any rattling going forward. Then you're going to take your bottom part which doesn't need any tools to get off and you're going to push it down, push, push this piece of styrofoam down, get it started and then close it up. And then that's the way that it doesn't make any noise. Now, if you want to put a CR123 battery in it, you just take your little piece of styrofoam out, take your batteries out, and in the center of the grip itself is an area that the CR123 battery goes into, just like that. With that, you're going to take the same piece of styrofoam, and instead of putting it on top, what you're going to do is turn it sideways and you're going to shove it right behind there just like this. All right, give it a little bit of pressure, work it side to side, 
The idea here is, is you want a little bit of pressure on it so that it doesn't it doesn't make any noise or rattle around. So now that it's in there, you're just going to push your finger down on here, get the lip started on this, and then push it in. And the only thing making any noise is the charging handle. Right? So that's the way it works. You just take the cover off, put the cover back on. Again, with the um, with the foam, it's just important if you're going to put the double A's in, put the rounded side up, put it right on top. If you're going to put a CR123 in, take the rounded side just like it is with the grip and slide it in behind. That way it'll create the maximum amount of pressure so that you won't have any rattling during the, you know, when you're carrying it. So, that's it. Pretty easy. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, we look forward to serving you guys in the future.